Hello viewers, my name is Jotham SK of Chris Team. In this video, I'm going to share with you the seven things that you need to consider before filming your music video. So if you're ready for the video, let's jump right in. Number one is avoid doing each and every task alone. When you get a music video project, make sure that at least you call your friends two or three. At least maybe you get a camera operator and uh, someone who is going to help you like a PA to do the moving of stuff, moving lights, moving the gears, organizing the set, stuff like that, so that you don't waste the time when you're on the set. Remember, time is money, so you don't want to waste any single minute when you get on the set. So make sure that at least you get some two people to help you do a music video and number two is make sure that you use gears that you know do not be tempted to go and hire a camera or rent a camera just because you want a fancy camera or maybe a red camera or an expensive camera around because you want to impress your clients trust me you'll be embarrassed at the end of the day when you film and when to get back home all what you have is garbage so make sure that you use the gears that you know it is not only the camera even some other gears like the gimbal if you've never used a gimbal and you want to use it for the first time on a project that is paid for, please don't be tempted to use a gadget that you've never used anywhere. So my tip that I can give you in case you know you're going to use that uh, gadget tomorrow, make sure that at least you get it in time. You practice it maybe like in one day, then the following day you use it. Trust me, you will save a lot of time and you will not be embarrassed at the end of the day when you take your footage back home. And number three is make sure that you frame you try out your frame, you try out your shots to see how things are going to look on screen before you bring in your talent to start performing or singing. Make sure that at least you compose the way you want your shots to be and you remove things that you don't want to be in your shot. Do not hesitate to remove things that you don't want in the shot. Keep on changing here and there till when you tweak and everything is on point. That is when you can call in your talent to start shooting. Uh, when you're starting out to film music videos, most of the time it is very hectic and we are shy, we cannot talk to the talent, to the artist, but what I can advise you when you're starting out, always make sure that you communicate uh, your direction clearly to the talent so that they get to know what you want to achieve at the end of the day and make sure that you understand each other, you agree on each and everything so that you don't waste everyone's time because like I said, time is money and we don't have time most of the time on our side because you may have planned to film a music video for only one single day so if you're going to waste a lot of time you'll end up eating up all the time so do not make that mistake to start the camera minus communicating your goal be a good director on the set talk to the client and always when you're talking to clients please do not be rude and do not shout to them because they feel uh, discouraged when you shout to them and most of the time when you shout to the talent especially the actors they lose even the morale to act so they will be acting but out of bias so if you don't want to get your performance to be alone make sure that you communicate your goal communicate what you want to achieve clearly so that you're in sync together and number five is wardrobe wardrobe make sure that at least you communicate in type to know what the talent will put on tomorrow if they're going to change like three times at least make sure that you know each and every piece of cloth they're going to put on because you want something that will contrast with your background or maybe will contrast will contrast with the set design that you uh that you've put in place so always make sure that you communicate this even before time if possible they can even send you some pictures so that you can see the real colors and the material they're going to wear so do not ignore that because color is very crucial when you want your music video to stand out so always communicate in time so that you know what people are going to dress so that even you do your set dressing accordingly and number six is lighting uh, make sure that yeah, at least you invest in lighting in case you want to buy maybe a very expensive camera maybe a professional camera my tip for you is please hold on to buy an expensive camera that you really want to go for and invest in lighting because lighting is key if you want your talent to look beautiful on screen you want your videos to look of high quality at least make sure that you invest in high quality lights they will save you a bunch of time just in case maybe you're starting out and you don't have an expensive camera. So before you buy that expensive camera of your dream, make sure that you invest in good lights if you really want your videos to be taken as high quality and to, take it to be taken as professional video. So my friend, if you're starting out, that is a pro tip for you. Make sure that you buy good lighting and when you're on the set, trust me, you will thank me later 
that it was helpful. And number six is lighting. Lighting is very crucial. It is very important. Before you do each and everything on the set, at least make sure that you test out your lights and see whether you're getting the enough light possible. It's a reason as to why I advise most of my uh, most of the time of friends who reach out and they're like they want to buy expensive camera. My advice that I give them always is at least to first invest in. A, in high quality lights, in good lights, before even buying an expensive camera. Because even us here at Chris team, we use a camera that is hmm, considered to be a beginner camera. But at least we've invested in lighting, is the reason as why maybe you can see our pictures try to look cinematic, to look beautiful. So my friend, if you're starting out, make sure that we invest in lighting before even going for an expensive camera. Because music videos, most of the time you'll be required to light each and every scene because you're not going to do only outdoors. Most of the time, especially us who are doing gospel music videos, uh, you will find that most of our videos include indoors whereby we have to go to a church and film. Just like you see in that video down below, we did the first set inside the church. So if we, if we do not have lights, there is no way we could get such amazing images. So if you're starting out and you want your music videos to stand out, make sure that we invest in good lights. And number seven or number last is camera movement. Make sure that when you're going to film a music video, at least you have a list of shots that you want to pull off so that you can plan your movements accordingly. Though this one keep on changing depending on the set or maybe depending on the, uh, the organization or the camera placement, the talent and all that, it keeps on changing. But at least it will save you when you get on the set when you have each and everything planned even before you get to the set. So make sure that you're planning your camera movements accordingly. It's the reason that's why I said initially that before you even start filming, make sure that your talent rehearse before the camera and you see how they're moving, their performance, their dances, so that you can plan your movements accordingly. But even when you've not seen, at least you have some movements that you have in mind that you really want to, to do when you're going to do your music video and it is the day of filming. So. My friend, always make sure that on your list you include some movements. If you want us to discuss more about camera movements, there is a video we made earlier, you can go and watch it. The link is just here. Go and watch that video about camera movements so that you can learn and get to know different camera movements. Because when you put each shot on a, uh, you put a camera on a stand for each shot, trust me, all your videos will be boiling. But make sure that at least you add some movements where necessary and make sure that your movements are subtle. Do not do those movements of a crane and yet you're using handheld. Trust me, your footage will be shaky and no one will be even impressed by the way you're moving your camera. So if you don't have a gimbal or maybe a slider on the set or maybe a gib or any equipment that you can use to move your camera uh, in a steady way, make sure that at least you practice moving your camera handheld so that when you get there, you don't get embarrassed before people or maybe when you get home and only to check out your footage, it is all that shaky. So if you don't want your footage to be shaky and to be taken as not professional, make sure at least that you get some equipments that can help you to pull off those movements smoothly like a gimbal, a slider. But always, when you're filming, make sure that you even think about the camera movement. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Hope it was helpful. Just in case you learned something from this video, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to our channel, and even tell friends to tell friends. But as always, friends, do not forget that the kingdom of heaven is near. So what we have to do is to repent. See you in the next one. God bless you.